Welcome everyone for another video and this time we have some nation cup matches. Indeed we got like the first nation cup like player of different nation teaming together to defend their own country and here we have the grand final. It was a best of five and we're going to start with the first match between France versus United Kingdom. And for this first match we are going to focus on the point of view of Ness from Team France to carry playing Rex and he's going to show us like what you can do with this character when you're a very competent player. So let's enjoy. So this is the first match of the grand final between France and UK of the first nation cup organized by Lilby. And here we are going to focus on that match on the POV of Neft. Neft, the most decorated player in the game so far when it comes to tournament win. And uh, we're gonna see if he will be able to add like another trophy to basically his cabinet in a sense so he's playing like with the friends team so the friends team for this match is neft mancu ginzen kielslo and moros where they're facing against united kingdom which is composed of julie latina penguin g-boy import and bondrud in terms of composition we can see on this dual lane we do have a decker rest lane that can be like quite deadly but also like rictor drongo is also a very deadly lane the thing is Overall, like Decker Rest has an easier time because Rictor, Penguin, in, the, in this case, like really need to land this hook and ideally on the rest because landing the hook on the Decker is actually very complicated because if it doesn't land the hook, like then it's a double range into the Rictor and that's very easy to punish, especially since as soon as you go for the hook, if the hook doesn't connect, it's a stun which guarantee the Picaboo knock, 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 and suddenly the Rictor took half of his HP gone. So it's a big, 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 big task for Penguin to be able to dominate that lane. But if he managed to hook Nef, like suddenly, like Nef is at 10% HP, and they will have to play very defensively. So those early hooks are actually like very, very important for Penguin to actually like land them. And here we can see Nef dodging the first hook. So. Now like a, lit a lot of the pressure can be like actually relieved here. They can step up together. Here Mancu a little bit far away from the aggression. Like Neft was going to go. Penguin no hook. So that means that the double range can absolutely bully Julia Latina if she steps up. But unfortunately Mancu was a little bit further away. And so they couldn't really like fully poke. And it's just an even trade. Here we see that the old Rusty is being used, but still like they have the advantage of the wave, so that's gonna be a level 2 advantage pretty convincingly, but they can't really like take advantage of it, of that transition, because simply Julia Latina and Penguin are playing under tower. Also like we can note, as mentioned, that we do have a Quang, and Quang gank are very good onto the Rictor, while Greston gank like can be yeah. good onto the rest, but with the deck air to peel, like if the Greystone doesn't manage to like stick to the rest, like then like the gank from the Greystone are not really that valuable. And I don't really like set up good hook afterwards either, because it's just like a slow after a slow jump. So like overall, like the gank of the Greystone is if they're very well aware of it on the side of uh, team friends they shouldn't like happen and here we can see like a simple stun into the peekaboo into a few auto attack and knock knock and here penguin is already at 20 percent hp and so that rictor cannot hook anymore like if this rictor hook now he's dead every time so the only time he can hook is if he can hook people on their tower and here we can see that the first gang from team friends actually securing a peek into the mid lane with the bilica falling down so it's always like good when you start a grand final to start with the first blood it kind of give you a momentum boost and uh, so friends like here taking the advantage we do secure the gold buff like we said like penguin was too low on health to be able to contest he has to use his potion to get back to like a more healthy amount of health uh, before he can actually make like any play but here still like the decker rest lane is still like in complete control they're gonna be able like to push one more wave here as we can see like they're looking to crush it again we try to go for the poke here, Neft. Back on EU ping, after playing like a lot of match on NA, you can see he doesn't miss. So wave is crashing, which means that wave is gonna slowly bounce back. It's a cannon wave, so probably we're not gonna lose the cannon on the side of Team France with Neft going back to base. He secure also like enough gold to start get the Soul Kalis, and so that's the perfect back timing because you want to start stacking your item as fast as you can, but you also like don't want to lose like too many creeps in the meantime. And so crashing that wave before the cannon wave, I'll look for the reset. We get the soul Kalis back. We're gonna walk back to lane and no wave is supposed to be slowly pushing into the other direction. And normally like cannon is still alive. 
And that's exactly what is happening here. And so Neft is like fully fine. Here they can't really go for any aggression. So here that's a timing that probably Penguin and Julie Latina should look for aggression because they have like a huge wave and the level advantage. But they're not even trying to make anything happen, probably because they were waiting for the Greystone to be around. But we see that the Quang was also like kill slow covering, and so it's just gonna be a handshake. Probably this wave is gonna go under tower here because we don't want to take the risk of freezing it. Manku trying to be aggressive, but nothing connecting. We miss the hook afterwards, and that's gonna be it. Hello, Elizar, how are you doing? So, so far, we're just like farming, but now we have like, it's not a freeze, it's gonna be a slow push, um, most likely. Even though like here, um, it's gonna take like a while to be a slow push, but normally like those range minions are gonna die before the next wave arrives, and we're gonna like maybe keep like this range minion. No, it, it's like fully even in terms of wave, so it's a slow push on the side. Uh, of Team France, but still, like we can see that now the wave are even. Neft is already 8 CS up. Uh, and uh, like this Rictor, like Drongolane can't really afford to fall behind. Uh, they need to find like some aggression at some point because if they just play passive, then at any point, like this Decker, Restlane will be able to just like start to press W, like outpoke them, and it will be like very dangerous for them. Here we can see. Every time like the wave is advancing, Neft take advantage of that to go for the Pikabu knock knock and there is like no counter aggression done by the Rictor Drongo. And so that's very hard to play in two. Here they have like the priority of the wave. Once again, connect very nice stun by Man Q, taking advantage of the slow. We get the cage here. We try to go like as much penguin is protecting Julie Latina as much as he can, but as you can see, complete like domination domination here. We try to go for the hook. The hook doesn't connect. We do get the snipe. Julie Latina, 1 HP, Penguin blocking the, the second knock knock and will be forced back to base. But that means like even more like CS being lost because here it's gonna be a wave on the tower and it's not a cannon wave. So that means the cannon is not here to tank. Penguin can't really like freeze that fully. He's actually like trying to do his best and that's gonna be another gold buff. And so like a few like CS up overall. Like you can see 65 CS to 42 already and uh, great reset again. So here we can see like as a carry it's not like about like getting killed sometimes if you apply enough pressure that you make the last hit of the opponent like hard and you can secure like gold buff after gold buff you're still gonna pull ahead and at some point pulling ahead on that farm will result in yourself being able to get kills here we're still at the 0, 0, 0 score line but neft is already ahead of julie latina so you can see julie latina is getting a level 5 finally while Neft was already level 5, Wave is bouncing back, so they don't really have to expose themselves. That's one, again, like a little timing that Penguin and Julie Latina can look for a play here if they want to. But it seems like Penguin and Julie Latina accepted to play like very, very passive. To be fair, Manku Neft is a very scary duel lane to fight into, and so if you don't have full confidence, every like trade you're gonna go is gonna be like be kind of tough. Manku is trying like to freeze the, the range so the range doesn't go on the tower. But that means it's gonna take like almost like holy health. Very nice hook by Penguin forcing the flash, but no kill slow is here. And we force the flash out of the Rictor. Neff like flashing after Penguin, gonna secure the kill, but it's gonna get traded off by import that was rotating. And so in the air, we lose the flash from the decker, we lose the flash from the rest to get only a kill onto the Rictor while losing also the carry. So overall, this trade is at the advantage of Team UK. And as you can see also, since they put like decker very low and import is still healthy, still has his ultimate, true, the carry is still alive, they're gonna transform that into a, um, a Fangtus. So here, Team UK overall winning this 3v3. Uh, Manju may be a little bit overzealous at actually trying to freeze that lane. Uh, when it wasn't like fully needed and then like now we have a rest without flash for the, the next time and that means that can be a little bit dangerous because this Drongo is also like now ahead on experience can get to level 6 and suddenly people can start dying thank you Tessadin for the follow welcome welcome hope you're enjoying your stay and so here we get like the hook onto Neft we force like also the iron strike to go for the disengage Julie Latina doesn't have any mana, so we should be fine. Uh, but still, we have a rotation from Ginzen, trying to get like a little bit of aggression. 
Penguin is still here. We get the land mine. We're gonna like probably go for the rewind here as we can see. We do miss the stun, but the cage is good and no penguin has no flash, they know, and that's gonna be a kill secured. And so Nev securing the second kill. So we're gonna get the crash. We're walking towards like this third gold buff. So, so far like Neft has been able to secure every single gold buff that has spawned in the match and that almost on cooldown. So that's always like very appreciated, um, very, very good things to be as a uh, carry. Neft missing the knock knock, stopping the back of Man Q. So I guess like Man Q should be mad about that. A joke, of course. And here we keep like advancing. And we do not have the Vanquisher finish just yet. As we can see, we just like finished the Claimer. Here we can see in terms of itemization, we're going for the Soul Kalis that we're going to stack. And then into the Vanquisher for like um, being able to output a lot of damage with like simple uh, combo in the early game. And here we still have a timing that we have to be a little bit careful. Because like there is also like a timing that Penguin can take against like Nef. His Nef has his flash that is like two or three seconds after Penguin. So that means that Penguin can go like for a flash ultimate at some point and try to go for the full wombo combo and Nef can die. Ooh, we tried to go for the hook. Nef slightly out of range and dodging that. We see that Crest is already like available to be leveled up. We still like stay out of range of the hook. Penguin getting more accurate with the hook, but Nev staying like out of range. So, so far not much to be done. On the side of Blue Latina, the Vanquisher is already finished. So that's the moment you, we have to be careful on the side of Nev Man Q because a Drongo with a Vanquisher done is very scary. While here the Vanquisher is not finished and Sul Kalis is not fully stacked yet either. So we have to really respect that timing. And you can see Neft really playing like at long distance. And here Penguin going up. We try to go for a little bit of damage. And here we can go. We got the rewind. They know that the flash is down. And that's going to be like a free pickup. And uh, here the only way for Penguin to stay alive is Julio Latina needs to like full all in onto Neft. But it's hard to do. Uh, but if like they don't step up like a nice cage. And then they have like a lot of lockdown with the cage with the like uh, rewind from the um, rest and like as a rector you don't have a lot of escape so it's very 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 easy for them to execute and here we're gonna go back because we want to finish the vanquisher we want to finish our crest uh, we didn't crash so the freeze is not perfect but we wanted to get like Probably we could have crashed before we go for the reset. That was maybe like a slight imprecision, but at the same time, Greystone was around. So that could have been scary because like, once again, Neft without flash, Greystone can simply jump on him. And if Manku doesn't like peel perfectly, suddenly like Neft can be dead. We're dodging the hook, but it was very close. We do get the stun, and now we're gonna get like maybe the cage or oh, no cage, unfortunately. So Penguin surviving here a little bit longer. We try to go for a little bit of poke. Here we can see like Neft know that he's stronger. We try to go for the Reef Walker, but we do miss. That means that's the skewer, but we have the Witch Stalker, which will be enough. And now we're gonna get like maybe the RMD, and that's the double kill. So. Neft know that he's stronger than uh, this duel lane at that timing because he just finished a Vanquisher plus Switch Stalker. As we can see, Julatina was still with Vanquisher and probably a lot of gold in hand. As we can see, 1400 gold in hand. So Neft was a full crest up and a full Soul Kalis up and probably very close to having like the max stack because he finished the Soul Kalis very early and usually we finish the stacking at 14 minutes, but Neft is very proficient at it. So probably Soul Kalis was finished and so he knew that this timing, if they take the 2v2, he was so much stronger, especially with the cleans that even if we get like hook or skewer, the cleans was enough to turn the fight around. And that's exactly what they do. They just know that their timing, they're stronger. Team UK take a little bit the bait, trying to fight because they saw they can like get the lockdown. And in the end, it's just like Nev taking like the two kills for like... Was that too much trouble? It was still like pretty close. Import, like Nev, max range. Peekaboo, knock knock, and then another RMB, and suddenly 
we were zero zero and zero and no like seven minutes later you're seven and one so this is where like getting like those early priority waiting for the power spike going for the right fight when you have the power spike securing those skill allow you yourself for rotation and suddenly like neft cannot be contested anymore for like a very very long time because he's so far ahead now you can see mine razor already finished two items and uh, it's, it's just like very scary here we try to go for the stun we're gonna go like for the peekaboo plus the rmb manku kind of forcing g-boy to stay on the tower and neft just have to collect the kill here and that's gonna be an 8-1 scoreline by neft import trying to counter engage here we do have penguin in arriving it feels like we're playing a little bit of our arm here we go for the refoker into the replash but unfortunately we don't connect and that's what's gonna be like the moment to disengage and reset for team friends so in that match zern friends jungle is kill slow It's, it's all right to be man 7-1. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Ally tower under attack. So advancing, we're working towards like the second on it, Chris, to increase like if it a little bit more like the physical penetration. So here, as you can see, the dual lane cannot really play. So what do you do as a carry? Because we don't really want to step up too much. We try to look for rotation, keep the presence up on the map, try to apply some pressure to get like the mid lane tower as well. As we can see, we have like four people grouping in mid. We do have Bonru that is here. A very nice hook by Penguin, forcing the Mekki train. We dodge the skewer with the Mekki train again. Import is trying to go in. We don't have the knock knock because we just missed it. So here we have to wait for the cooldown to be back up. And then like we get like a lot of damage. Kill slow getting absolutely exploded, but at the cost of like a lot of damage. Nev securing a kill onto the Rictor. We do have Bonder trying to find the pickup, but in the end, Nev surviving all of that. In the meantime, though, we have Julie Latina that is split pushing, trying to come back a little bit, as we can see in terms of CS, she's only 20 CS down. But it's still like not securing this tower, so it's gonna be a tier one tower in mid. Julie Latina is trying to get this tower. It's gonna be like a little bit like scuffed i think she can secure it i'm not sure if she got the local goal because she was maybe a little bit too far away and so in the end it's gonna be like a trade-off tower really latina coming back a little bit into that game but getting like additional kills for neft and so he's not 10 1 and 1 and he's gonna be able like to probably like farm towards getting like his third item for 20 minutes which is like very very fast in terms of farming But yeah, like I fully agree with you 7-1, like the Nation Cup was more like a casual side, bringing a little bit of story, rivalry, it's not like meant to be like a competitive event in a sense. Um, and, and, and when I'm saying like those things and Kokoriko and stuff is just like mainly for the, for the funsies of it, like I don't really like care in a sense, it's just good content and, and there was like some very great match in that final, so this is why we are going to review all of them. So, ooh, very nice heal, hook, but Neft on EU ping, not gonna miss those um, cleans. And so that's gonna be like, at least cleans expanded, but that's still like probably not gonna offer you any other hook opportunity in the future. Hello, Cosmic Beat. How are you doing? So here it's a matter of continuing the farming. 
every time they step up too much they can probably like go on the aggression i think neft here is resetting and like the wave is not super pushed but i guess the idea is we want to finish the third item like i said pre 20 minutes omen is finished and then we want to be in a position to either contest the fangtus and or mini prime because it's going to be moment that stuff are going to respawn and here we can see like Neft go back. He didn't even like push too much because here the tempo that he needs to be on the map, like true team France is ahead, it's 12 and two, but 12 and two is mainly on Neft. So if Neft is not present in the team fight, suddenly like this lead from team France is not really existent in the team fight. So that's also something that as a carry, if you start to get big, true, you need to keep your farm going, but you also need to rotate to be helping your team with like the important timing. Because if you're super big, but you're not like there in team fight, like I said, in the end, your team is not really that far ahead. And so like keep being farming all the time when is this situation is going to be a waste. And here you can see he didn't even fully push the wave. He understand that his team needs him to be on the timing of mini prime and Fangtus. So he go for the reset because he won't have like any other opportunity in the future and to secure the third item. And if a, a fight break up, like Neff is so far ahead with this third item completed that the fight would have gone into the direction of team friends. So here we're going for the reset, spend a little bit of gold. I guess here, probably like team friends can be starting to look at the R prime at some point. But like I said, like most of like the lead is mainly on um, Neft. We have a little bit of CS lead in the mid lane as well. As we can see Ginzen being 35 CS up on the mid lane, which kind of help as well, but we're not that far ahead in terms of itemization. Working towards the Caustica on Ginzen, uh, probably like looking to get like this 400 gold before the next fight so we complete the first item and that will like be a big power spike for him as well here we try like to see like as you can see like the dual lane on the side of team uk is not really like allowed to play because of like how like ahead oh a very nice hook but once again like as you can see also neft not overstepping is welcome when his cleanse was done every time his cleanse was done he wasn't really looking for a fight as soon as his cleanse is up he's look for some aggression because you know that if he gets hooked it's still fine for him here we have kill slow that go a little bit deep unfortunately uh, not enough damage on the side of team friends while the greystone like just uses ultimate to regen like most of his health and so that's gonna be like a pickup for team uk And here we're gonna like reset. So far, like since like the dual lane uh, of UK decided, like not really decided, they can't really play. They play kind of passive, and so it's kind of hard to actually um, create anything on the map. So we're still like keeping the farm up, looking for the opportunity of getting some nice, uh, probably like pick up at some point. Like they do have the Decker, they do have the Zarus, they do have the Quang. So there is the potential, and also like this, of course. We're walking towards like either the demolisher or the perforator. Um, one thing that they do have to be careful, I guess like that's maybe like what Team UK is looking for, is in the late game though, like this Feng Mao can absolutely like one shot this stress and that could be like their win condition. But here we do find like Penguin, Penguin forced to flash away, but we do get the rewind before the flash and then we get the tether and that's another pick. So Penguin, having a lot of trouble we do get like a very nice long range stun by man cube forcing the flash out of g-boy and g-boy is probably out a little bit too far away but that's a flash on the rictor that's a flash on the belica which means that the next time we do have a fight against those two people they're probably gonna be dead immediately because they have like no escape and the enemy team start to have a lot of damage here we have julia latina looking for the aggression onto neft but that's gonna be like I, I i think even neft was a bit confused here and the max range snipe by neft securing the kill on julia latina like here like neft could have won like the previous 1v1 very convincingly but since it was like i think my like read of the situation is like neft was like there is no shot julie latina is that aggressive on that timing so there is something fishy going on and probably like someone is ready to jump on me somewhere like nearby because there is no way she's making that play 
And that's, I guess that's why like Neff like kind of play like very conservative and doesn't overcome it because like this aggression by itself was very, very strange. And that's why like we don't see Neff like probably like going aggressive uh, because he also knows that he needs to be careful. It's a huge shot down for the enemy team. Like remember, he's one and it was one and one. So it's a kind of 11-0 bounty, which would be like a huge swing of gold for the enemy team. And um, like spending almost like ev everything on the enemy team of UK to get the shutdown on Neft will be like probably worth it. And so that's why like Neft play very, very safe. But then Drew Latina overstaying a little bit too much, just get snipe at max range and that's gonna be like a kill. So here we do secure, we do have Primal Fanctus respawning on the map while also having the all prime. So now we're gonna get like double big buff available on the map. Of course, for Team Friends, the Primal would be also the Triple Fanctus, so that's always like a juicy objective to get. But here they're looking for Bondrood. We do have kill so that is here. Bondrood like forced to go away. Use the Flash to dodge after the Coliseum. They're still like all chasing him. He got the Reaping Dash. But Man Q with the stun plus the Iron Strike to for the slow. And then we get the Spear of the Near from Moros to secure that pickup. And without the Feng Mao like for that team fight, that means that now Neft is completely free to be like super aggressive. Here we do have G-Boy that get like rewind immediately. They know the flash is gone, like G-Boy overstepping is welcome a little bit too much. And so that's gonna be like the Opera being pulled out by Team France. You can see that Import is looking at the opportunity of maybe flanking here, uh, looking for the HP. HP is still like pretty high, I assume, if Import doesn't go in. He's finally like trying to go in, trying to go immediately onto Nev. But like here we have a very, very nice containment fence by Man Q that allow Nev to create some space. No, we do have the Rictor, but the Rictor doesn't do enough damage. And so here it's just gonna be like the focus onto the Greystone. And then we're gonna turn ourselves onto the R Prime. And this is what is very important for you as a Daker to do when you're playing with the res. They remove the Feng Mao, which means that this big threat is gone. The next big threat is probably like a Bellica that can like one shot the res. But the Bellica was gone as well, and Neft is playing well the distance to not be catched by those things. So probably the only thing that is very dangerous is the Greystone sticking to the rest. And the best way like to unstick the rest from the Greystone as soon as the Greystone like jump in is to use the containment fence at the perfect position. And that's exactly what Man Q does. And suddenly, like here, it was a desperate play by UK. Good reaction by Man Q. Neft is free to deal the damage, and that's just simply like easy cleanup that's gonna offer them the all prime and probably like also like the here oh we do have bondrew that's gonna end up like getting the pick here and that's a good job bondrew moment of course that's exactly the thing that was like a little bit scary is this feng mao can be the counter to this rest despite like how farm neft is and that's a huge shutdown of the feng mao and that's also like a prime that has been removed from the enemy team but they're probably gonna secure still the primal they still have prime on four people and they lose like three people and here we see that the rictor can't really like play the game now they're gonna go on to julie latina and then like i love what team france is doing here they just ignore the greystone to go immediately on the drongo because they know if the drongo dies then they can just turn on to the greystone and that's gonna be like an easy pickup because the greystone won't have enough damage to clean up everyone and so they're gonna secure the primal fangtus so here we can see that neft is responding in six seconds let's see if team france wait for the respawn of the rest And I don't know if they waited or not, but at least like res was up. So now we have our prime on four people. We have primal fangtus on five people and we also have triple fangtus. So that's the timing that of course we deny a lot of time on that our prime by like going to the contest for the primal fangtus, killing neft. Like I said, that's a huge shutdown onto the side of the Feng Mao. So the Feng Mao can actually like afford a little bit more of an item and things. But like here, it's a huge moment for Team France. Always like every time double buff timing. Uh, it's like very, very, very scary. And so here it's on the UK, fully on the back foot. Need to find, ooh, Juliatina getting long range stunned by Man Q and that's gonna be a pickup. We do get the rewind onto the Rictor. Here, Bondrood kinda tried to go for Neft, but it's not gonna be good enough. They use everything on Neft, but because Julatina got picked up early, like Neft still 1 HP. We got like the pullback, imports forced to stay alive. We get the long range peekaboo, and here it's four people getting wiped. Julatina getting picked up by the stun of Man Q. Forced kind of like the hands of Team UK to try to go in. 
and Bondroot almost like one shotting Neff, but not good enough, like enough like spiel for the side of Team France. Neff surviving, they kind of forced to like go fully all in, and it's not gonna be successful. And so in the end, it looks super bad for the side of Team UK. But this whole situation has been created by Julie Latina getting picked up and now we're gonna like flood this score with all five members and that's gonna be team france winning the first match of this grand final best of five and uh yeah leading 1-0 so far